Okay, so students for this question number four, say also draw the function, okay, without using a calculator. So when I take a look at the function, so it's x squared, that means it's a parabola. Okay, it's not straight line, it's not linear equations. And because it's a minus, the minus before the x squared, that means it's gonna open downwards. And now because it's minus four, that means you're gonna take the parabola four steps down, a vertical shift four steps down, okay? Or if you think of it as a y-intercept. So if I want to draw this, okay, this is the x-axis and the y-axis. I have to draw this. I'll try to be as accurate as possible. Now let me change the colors. So this is minus one, students. Look, this is minus one. Let me draw it here. And this is minus two. And this is minus three. And this is minus four. So the parabola is going to open downwards. Now it's going to look like this. Like this smooth curve okay smooth curve not straight line you don't have anywhere on the parabola where it has sharp edges like this for example you don't have this this is when you have an absolute value function but the parabola they are all like smooth edges so this is a smooth edges and this is the graph of your parabola take a look at the bar scheme pull up you'll see it's the same answer look at minus four open downwards it's a quadratic function so the graph is a parabola with a vertex zero minus four and it opened down because the radical coefficient is negative okay the y-intercept is not one horn for any mistake the y-intercept is minus four all right okay okay thank you for watching students